somehow just managed to finish getting ready and I got my little bag. I put some bows on it, like a basic biatch. I just have like a black turtleneck and a belt and then my Riri creepers from forever ago. My hair somehow still look good from <laughs> being in bed sick all day. I have no idea. I guess that's the trick. And then I just have little hoops on. Very kind of basic fall bitch outfit, but I needed basic. I needed easy. I needed to get out of the house. I'm gonna be driving because it's in Queens and the subway. Some to and from Queens from Brooklyn is really dumb. Like we're right next to each other, but it's kind of set up weird. In the past when they created the subway system, like everybody was heading towards Manhattan and not from Brooklyn to Queens and back. Driving is gonna be the way, so pray for me and hope that everything's good. Went with two new girlies that I met in the NYC girls room Facebook group. So let's see how that goes. Keep the vlog updated. See the little witch there? They just decorated our block with a bunch of Halloween stuff. I'm so upset I couldn't get my nails done. I was gonna have like these beautiful freaking lovely nails for this day but it is what it is things happen whatever make it work i was gonna bring a leather jacket i did not know where i put my leather jackets because it's been 80 degrees and it's so hard to keep up but i think it's time to finally have my jackets out mood the other day and I did not think to separate my leather coats because I couldn't find them and I'm so cold. It's so cold today. Look how cute. Alright, well cheers. Right, cheers <laughs> I'm not supposed to drink it. Oh God, I hate this. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Wait. Oh my Ready? God, is something gonna pop up? I just signed the liability. I don't like. Stand right on that white X for us. I'm so glad. That white X. Right. right on up there. Right on up there. Can mm -hmm. I catch the wall? No, because if something tries grabbing me, I'm gonna wet my pants. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Guys, we're really in a Except cave. Forward, I'm so yeah. scared. Yeah. Here we go. And oh my god. You're on your own. Good Stop. luck. I'm scared. <laughs> First girly Facebook group meetup was so fun. And I'm so glad that the universe did its thing with this one because it was very genuine. Things could go very, very good or very, very south with those kind of meetups, but it was great. I'm so full because I cooked technically like a dinner, lunch dinner before I left thinking like I was gonna be good for the night. And then I had a whole plate of mushroom pasta so I am so effing full right now and I'm so ready to just be in bed. 
Hi friends, I'm on my way to my cousin's birthday party. I didn't know I was doing this this morning when I woke up, but I left a little bit early so that I can go pick up my mom. I'm gonna see some family from Colombia, so I'm excited for that. But I have my computer and the bag and I brought an extra bag in case I stay with my mom. But this shirt I got off Etsy a while ago. Obviously I have my jacket over it, but it's like a bunch of like these cutouts and bows and it's super cute. And I wore like a maxi skirt and my new Mary Janes. I'll show you those when I'm not driving, but that is the update. And we're going to a Mexican restaurant. So I'm really pumped about that. But I need to do do. record off the back camera you guys let me know if there really is a quality difference or not i was gonna say it's convenient having a car for certain things like i have a couple events in queens this week you to get there in a car and then like yesterday my cousin told me last minute i have my birthday dinner and she lives in elizabeth new jersey which actually is not that far from brooklyn like the drive back was great <laughs> it was like all highway some local 40 minutes around there but the drive from here to Jersey City yesterday, I knew it was gonna suck. Like, I honestly really didn't wanna do it, but I really wanted my mom to be there. But yeah, that drive is always just rough from here because I have to go through Canal Street. I have to go through the Holland. Well, yesterday I went through the Holland Tunnel. Sometimes it takes me different ways. The original ETA. Oh, I don't have a ticket. Freak yeah. Ugh, the best, the best feeling. The ETA, I think originally was like 50 minutes. And I think it ended up taking me an hour, maybe 20, 30. Because I tried leaving before rush hour, but obviously as everybody's like getting out of work, it just starts accumulating. Yeah, it's just like, a, worse drive than from here to Elizabeth. But it was fun last night. I'm glad it happened. I'm glad I have today to rest because starting tomorrow I have my trifecta of concerts, which is wild. I probably won't be like taking shots for these concerts, so I should be okay. But I will say this is probably the most, besides like music festival concerts that I've been to in a row. Everyone's like, you have three concerts in a row? And it's like, well, that's basically like going to a music festival, <laughs> except you get to go home, rest, and recoup. But right now my main focus is to find like a good spot to have like my birthday gather gathering. Um, I can barely talk. Right before Halloween. So that's kind of my main priority is finding a spot and then like reserving it and kind of doing what my cousin did last night. Just put a bunch of balloons. If they have food there, like make it like a food thing where everyone can order and then hopefully have a DJ and just kind of dance and have fun with my friends and be dressed up. <laughs> I want to be dressed up in costumes. That's essentially all I want. I just, I wish my own home <laughs> I could do that. And I do have that recreation room in the basement, but I don't know why I just, I don't want to do that. I want to be like out somewhere like nice or it doesn't have to be super nice, but just somewhere that it could be fun and people can get to and blah, blah, blah. We'll just roll with the punches. We will just roll with the punches. I'll, I will keep vlogging my October in the city activities because this is this the first October fully in the city. So yeah, follow for more, subscribe for more, like and turn on post notifications. It's a free way to support an artist and it really helps the algorithm. All right, love y'all. How cute is this little golden hour moment right now? That's why I decided to sit out here. I'm almost done. This is how like Uber Eats and DoorDash and all that get around here. It's a cute little fall afternoon. I have to take advantage of this lovely weather and hoodie weather. I always feel like I'm just not doing enough, but I have to just take like a few moments and just be grateful for what I have accomplished this year and like what I've been able to get done already so far. And yeah, I'm just, you know, have to take things day by day and just the present moment and just the little moments like this when I'm just sitting out here on my little stoop. 
just showing gratitude to the world for letting me be able to do this and live here and do the things I can do every single day. again and I lost my earring but it was so worth it oh my god it was so good <laughs> so fucking good the fleece has officially come back out very cozy this is a yin yin yang fleece I got from Urban Outfitters like years ago. I don't shop a lot on Urban Outfitters, but when I do, it better be freaking worth the price point and this was so worth it. Anyways, it's early. It's Friday the 13th in October, which means it feels extra spooky today. I just woke up, so basically I have my PJs under this and I just put this on. I didn't really vlog yesterday and it was very hectic it was very hectic so i did lay in bed and then we had an appointment for rangers uh first time vet visit in the city i wanted to be ready for the whole day so i had to do my makeup my hair have an outfit picked out for the day and then have an outfit picked out for a concert i was going to because i knew that like once we left the house it was just gonna be non-stop like throughout the whole day so we went to his vet visit he got some ear drops for his ear infection um, apparently it went to the right ear and the left ear so i got his little ear drops and i got him this head wrap thing that supposedly stops them from flapping their ears even though he still does it and manages to get out of it but he looks so funny in it and it's just like i feel so bad but we really just want him to get better because it's just it costs so much money to go to vets and if he has more issues like he's an older dog so obviously that it comes with having a dog but yeah it's it's been it's been a tough one i made a nail appointment for 3 p.m so he was we were home by like 2 p.m but i was like really trying to rush and get a video up for youtube because i was trying to do two normally i just do one video a week one vlog a week but i was trying to do two videos this week because i really wanted to get started on this vlog which is all the spooky stuff and all like the october stuff but you can't really like it doesn't feel the same trying to post that like weeks this one was the hair one when i did my hair my copper hair at home and i did my root touch up for the first time i was trying to get that video up trying to post about it trying to do all that while at the same time going to a nail salon i've never been to because i decided to try a new one because i really wanted to get extensions and gel and make them look nice and the other place was just not working out for me so i did extensions and then i decided to do french so as you can see i really like how they came out uh, but I decided to do French for several reasons, even though it costs way more, but obviously like I feel like the grow out is going to be a little smoother than if I were to just have done dark nails, but that it did take longer. This place, it's called D plus W Polish. I really liked the girl that did my nails, Emily. Like, I think she did such a killer job. These need to last me for the rest of October, even a little bit longer. And I'll keep doing them like for the rest of the year and then we'll see... During the holidays, I like having nice nails too, so we'll see after that what happens, but that's what I did. But when I got there, the parking situation was just like, this is the truck loading zone until 4 p.m. and it was like three. At this point, my appointment was at three, but I didn't get there till like 3.06. 
and I was so scared I was gonna get a ticket, but I was like, I don't know what else to do. Like there's no other parking in this area. So I was like praying that I didn't get a ticket. And then I couldn't find this spot because on Google Maps shows that, oh, you're here. And then the here is a parking lot. <laughs> So I had to call them and we're trying to figure out where it is. The girl's like trying to wave at me. It was a whole mess. Um, they, they are expensive, like way more expensive than I normally ever pay for nails. But again, it's my birthday month. I want them to look nice. I want them to last. So it was 75 for the extensions and then 20 extra for the French. Doing basically that or a design or something like that will cost you a lot, but so worth it. Then I realized I had to get gas. As I'm about to get gas, these guys keep saying like that they're gonna pump my gas that if i want them to clean my windshield you know they're trying to hustle out here for tips and all this stuff and i was just at that point so annoyed and like when you're a woman alone you have to be so stern and like no you know so i was like no no thank you finally was driving home i asked please to just bring me down the pizza box that i had and he brought me the the pizza downstairs and i like scarfed it in my car and then i once again drove because this place to see fred again was at this place called forest hill stadium which i was told is kind of like in a residential area and that's exactly what it was I, this place if you ever go to forest hill stadium it's in queens drive isn't bad but you're literally in the middle of a neighborhood like there's just houses and a lot of like street parking is really hard to find next time i'll just uber or figure something else out after parking and after going through all that like the place was really cool but it was a little confusing because i had general admission tickets but my tickets said ga bull so i wasn't sure if ga bull meant floor or not like it was confusing like the terminology there was confusing with the tickets because they were like, if you have GA floor, you have to get a wristband. But if you have GA bowl, you could just go up the stairs and you sit in like the bowl, like the seats. Two people were telling me two different things. One was saying, no, you have GA bowl, just go over there. And then the other guy, when I showed him the tickets at the door, he said, you have to go get a wristband. So when we got the wristbands, they didn't even check the tickets and they gave us a wristband. So I don't know if I actually got floor seats without paying for it. But we ended up on the floor, which is what i wanted normally at this age i'm like i want seats i'm good with sitting down but for fred again i really wanted to like dance the night away like i pictured in my mind for months that when i saw fred again i was gonna go in on dancing and that's exactly what happened and in the middle of his set he ran to the back like he was on stage he ran in the middle of the crowd to the back did kind of like a boiler room vibe back there it was so lit like it like it completely changed the whole vibe of the concert in like the best way like he he definitely like i noticed knows how to hype up the crowd and like get them going because it's sometimes it's hard it's like it's kind of like breaking ice sometimes with crowds because when you first get started it's just kind of like what's happening we don't know the vibe because he started off with like ballads and i thought it was beautiful like he was singing i was not expecting him to sing at all so that was so cool and yeah just kind of breaking that barrier and like being like no we're gonna be lit and this is gonna be different than anything you've ever seen before and it's gonna be so personal he showed a lot of personal videos from like his life and if you don't know his albums are called actual life and he has several and it's a lot of just moments from his life that he makes music of and i know that's like every musician but i don't know why it just it feels so much more personal um than any other like kind of concert i've been it was really really fun and i really enjoyed it so definitely 10 out of 10 shoot like it's friday the 13th i think today will be a good day to just kind of like be at home then get ready for cutter's clubhouse because at night we have another concert Blease is coming with me and my friend kendall so this is at king's theater in flatbush another venue i've never been to which is kid cuddy's kind of very personalized concert that he does it's not his usual tour for his albums it's more just like this is for the fans and he plays music and songs from past albums that like he normally wouldn't play on like a stadium tour because stadium tours when people go see him like they want to hear the most popular popular songs obviously like they want to hear like the top charting hits and all that stuff which is fun 
but he has so many good underrated songs and so many good underrated albums that like his real fans have been dying to hear live because they're just like so rare so i love that he does this because I'm excited to hear certain songs like I think I peeped on Twitter that he performed teleport to me because he did two nights Yeah, I really want to hear that live and there's just a lot of songs that I want to hear live And it's Friday the 13th. So I'm really hoping that maybe he'll get a little spooky with it And I'm hoping that there's like some special guests. I'm manifesting Timothy Chalamet being there <laughs> I know it's a long stretch, but I'm just manifesting that he's in the same room with us. That's my little cutie pie. He's a cutie pie. Okay, I will keep chatting with y'all. I needed to vent and update on what even went down yesterday because my nails look cute, but at what cost? At what cost? Happy Friday the 13th vlog fam. <laughs> Clearly, I felt like getting in the groove of things today. Uh, it's a gorgeous day out. I decided to stay indoors because I'm gonna film Jason if she slayed TikTok from the costumes that we had last year. I was like Freddy Krueger and my boyfriend was Jason last year. So we have the jersey and the mask. So why not? Let's get creative with it. And then right after I shoot this, I will be Unboxing finally my Nightmare Before Christmas Melt Cosmetics package I got of the makeup kit that I bought the whole kit so I can't wait to show you guys. That will be its own video and I will use that kit to create my makeup look for the Cutter's House concert tonight. So go Jason, go Jason. Oh, I did get this for the American Psycho cosplay I want Blaze to do. So. Jason has an axe today. I was told that he's, he uses a lot of different weapons. So instead of using a real knife, we're gonna do this. I should still have the knife from my Chucky costume though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look cause I might still have that. That's the one that got me banned, almost banned from TikTok a year ago when I did those videos. And then we also have my psychedelic Halloween playlist. So if you're on Spotify, look that up. I put in a lot of work and effort for that playlist, so. Go Jason, go Jason, go Jason. These socks are from my Alice in Wonderland Halloween costume years ago, but I thought they looked cute with this. And then the shoes are from a little Etsy shop, but I bought it secondhand off of Depop. And they're actually really comfy. Like I was worried, but I wore them to my cousin's birthday the other day and I was dancing. I was like shaking booty. I was twerking with these on and my feet did not hurt. A little tiny bit small. Maybe a half size could have been better, but I still really, really like them. This is a birthday shot just for you. <laughs> birthday shot. Happy birthday. This is 1942 Don Julio. It's the shit. Try it. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Happy birthday. Breaking news, I have one more concert this week. The third concert in the last 
before I have a long hiatus, most likely, of concerts, because, wow. See Subtract, and if you don't know who that is, he is a music producer from the UK. First they got famous around kind of like the Tumblr era, early quote-unquote indie sleaze days. Could be wrong on this, but I think what really blew him up, or at least how I found out about him, was because Drake sampled the, his song Wildfire. But ever since, yeah, I, he's had bangers, and he went on a hiatus too and then came back with a new album this year. So he's touring. This concert was actually supposed to be in June, but he had a visa issue apparently. So it had to get postponed till exactly this week when I have had all these other concerts and it's cold and it's rainy and I'm by myself. But I'm going with my friend Kendall again. She was with me at the Kid Cudi concert last night and she had never seen Cudi live. And she cried because like, I feel like everybody that has a deep connection with Cuddy's songs and lyrics end up crying when they see him live because he has saved so many people's lives and his music is just so impactful in so many ways and he's just so talented. Like his vocals sound exactly the same as his records when you see him live. And Cutter's Clubhouse was just really cool too because if you've seen his regular tours, he'll play like Man on the Moon one, two, three, and he'll do like popular songs off of the other albums but there's just some that get completely ignored and I don't think it's on purpose I just think that logically you have to perform music that the masses are going to want to sing to and like enjoy so a lot of the songs that get ignored are really loved by like the real fans and like the people that have been there since day one so I don't know why I'm out of breath like Jesus Christ Whew. I wish I could show you my outfit, but it's just so dark. I had to basically get ready like really quickly. But I'm just wearing like a turtleneck, the same leather jacket that I thrifted from Depop like a while ago, and then my long purple skirt and tall combat boots. And I do have pantyhose underneath. So that way I don't get as cold. But yeah, Cutter's Clubhouse is basically just feels like you're at a very like special event for just the Cud fam. He had a living room set up on stage. This was the first time he did this, but he actually invited fans to go on stage and hang out with him and literally smoke blunts and drink Don Julio 1942. Just on stage, just vibing the whole time. He's like, you guys can sing, dance, whatever you want to do, just vibe. And they vibed the entire concert. I was so jealous. This one girl like was slow dancing to ball mine jeans with him. I was like, you are living my dream, girl. I was so jealous. But I've been there. I've been very lucky to have seen him a few times. And my favorite, favorite concert of his ever was 2016 at the Tabernacle in Atlanta. Very, very intimate concert. And he did a meet and greet. So I got to meet him. He signed a poster for me. It was when Spitting Bullets to Heaven came out. So it's kind of like a weird time because that album didn't really sell back then, but he talked a little bit about that because now the kids love this album and they connect to it, you know, because it was a really painful album. It speaks about a lot of dark issues. Now the kids love it because they, they're connecting with it a lot more. But yeah, that's, that's when I got to meet him and he signed a poster for me and I, I took my little R2-D2 robot I had, or no, not R2-D2, BB-8 robot I had, and he signed that too, so I have both of those. And yeah, so I already have that experience, which I will cherish forever. And whenever I do go to his concerts, I'm usually like the millennial in the back that's just sitting down, chilling, <laughs> watching the kids get to enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably still keep going to his concerts. They're just, they mean so much to me and he's like my favorite artist of this generation. So that's that, but tonight subtract and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm walking to the train right now.
I am laying in bed in my Sherpa, heating pad on. It's the second day, if you know, you know. Chips, about to edit my vlog. Done with work. Honestly, I was about to take a nap. I'm not even, I don't usually even take naps, but like, you know, about to be just KO'd for the night. Ryan's out, Lisa's out. Some people know him by his real name. So sometimes when I say Ryan or Blease, it is the same person. Just FYI, vlog fam. And he's having like his artist day, which is uh, if you've ever read The Artist Way, which I haven't and I want to do it. You're supposed to have like one day where you just connect with your inner child. So whatever like your inner child would want to do. So he's like out and about something. Okay, he's out and about. He'll get home. I'll just be here. <laughs> and now he wants to go to dinner. And it's like so many times I've thought about like us having cute dinners out and it just doesn't happen for whatever reason. We're just always really busy. And now that I'm like, <laughs> like this is me right now. Like <laughs> he's like, I want to go to dinner. And he's like, do you want to meet at Washington Square Park? And I was like, I'll only go outside if it's for ramen. I'm gonna have to get my life together. I mean, honestly, New York is funny because you think that everybody is like this fashionable, like supermodel. No. Like, I, I follow a lot of pages that are influencers and you think everybody's always dressed up like that. Like, no. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I think I'm honestly just gonna wear my shirt, but I might throw on different pants. But this, this might be the vibe. Maybe put some makeup on, but that's it.